Hi right, guys, <clears throat> it is a hot, sticky, miserable midsummer day here on Friday, June 5th, 2020, where we're looking, I think, at 94 today, but on Monday in Austin, Texas, 104 degrees, 104 degrees scheduled for Monday, which is why I am getting my ass out of Austin, Texas to Ithaca, New York, pulling out of here tomorrow, barring any last minute catastrophes. Oh yes, but before I go any farther, I am Sam Mitchell. This is my little co-pilot, Sancho Panza, and this is Collapse Chronicles, if not somewhere else. Uh, anyway, doing what we do, and this is will be the last time, this will be our last ecological meltdown roundup rant from uh, Garfield, Texas because in two hours from now I will not own this house. I will not be a homeowner in the state of Texas. I will be a climate refugee fleeing from the state of Texas. Hurricanes blowing into the Gulf. The third named storm already of hurricane season 2020. Triple digit uh, temperatures the first week of June. It is time to go. And oh yeah, of course, since uh, I am on Collapse Chronicles, for those of you who have not heard, my buried treasure, which is now worth uh, $37,200, this 1,200 ounces of physical silver that I buried 12 years ago, you know, to protect me from the economic meltdowns of Mad Max. Nowhere to be found. I was obviously a former tenant of mine, found my buried treasure, enlightened uh, my life by 1,200 ounces. I lost $37,200 yesterday. Oh well, life goes on, but at least I have the consolation prize of selling my house, which I need to be getting to the title company. So uh, we're before we head over to mongabay.com to check in with Rhett Butler and the boys and girls over there, we're just going to do two quick stories from the good old mainstream media, including the New York Times, many versions of this story on the mainstream media today. Russia <clears throat> declares emergency after Arctic oil spill, and you better believe this is, an, this is a story that is going to be repeating itself over and over and over again. The leak of more than 20,000 tons of diesel in Siberia, said to be one of the country's worst such accidents, turned a river crimson and was heading for the ocean today. Uh, President Vladimir Putin has declared a state of emergency in a region in northern Siberia after a huge oil spill turned a river crimson and threatened to inflict significant damage to the Arctic environment. More than 20,000 tons of diesel leaked into the Ambernaya River after a fuel tank collapsed at a power plant. Norlis Nickel, which owns the plant, said in a statement that thawing permafrost, thawing permafrost had caused one of the tank's pillars to collapse. The oil leaked more than seven miles from the site, heading to the Arctic Sea, uh, Arctic Ocean, whatever you call that. Uh, anyway, guys, thawing permafrost, you know, with this heat wave and wildfires going on in Siberia, where it's probably as warm as Texas, uh, you will see more and more and more thawing permafrost ecological catastrophes being unleashed all over the Arctic over the next few years, probably more this summer. I'm. Mean, this is not the last one you're going to hear this summer. Uh, the thawing permafrost. Uh, all right, 
and you can draw your own dots between that story and this one. Heat trapping carbon dioxide in air hits new record high. The world hit another new record high for heat trapping carbon dioxide in the atmosphere despite reduced emissions because of the corona panic scientists announced yesterday. Wow, do you think? Measurements of carbon dioxide, the chief human caused greenhouse gas, averaged 417. 0.1 parts per million at Mauna Loa, Hawaii yesterday uh, for the month of May when carbon levels in the air peak. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration said that is 2.4 parts per million higher than one year ago. We are, we have now passed 417 parts per million. There you go. And anyone thinking that the corona panic is doing a damn thing uh, to save us from climate change, please stop insulting my intelligence. All right, let's head over to Manga Bay. Uh, you know, wondering, this is talking about, is the corona panic, is the coronavirus going to start killing gorillas? Or now, yeah, I'm talking the virus. Uh, uh, of course, the poachers who have been turned loose uh, in Virunga National Park and all over Africa, they're already, I'm sure, killing the gorillas. If the coronavirus itself does not kill you know, the old sick gorillas with uh, pre-existing conditions. Uh, if, if the virus doesn't get the gorillas, the poachers who have been given free license to kill gorillas because of the economic lockdowns will kill them. All right. Uh, I, I, gotta, I, I'm, I have to skip through a lot of these. Uh, Gee, one more time, if you are not aware of this, <clears throat> Amazon deforestation gig economy booms despite the corona panic. Illegal deforestation has become an omnipresent part of economic activity in the Brazilian Amazon. Do you think so? Uh, some experts had hoped that the corona panic would slow Amazon deforestation, but indications are that the reverse is happening. From January to April, the rate of Amazon deforestation alerts rose sharply by 55%. That deforestation is linked closely with fires, so a challenging fire season is expected this year. So as long as we're talking about deforestation, new data shows the world lost a Switzerland size area of primary rainforest in 2019. Last year, the world lost around 46,000 square miles or 119,000 square kilometers of tree cover, according to satellite data released today by the World Resources Institute, almost a third of that loss, so 15,000 square miles, came from primary humid tropical forest. <clears throat> Brazil, the Democratic Republic of the Congo, and Indonesia took the top three spots in terms of absolute primary forest loss followed by Bolivia, Peru, and Malaysia. Uh, researchers are also now worried about how the corona panic crisis could affect forest in 2020, and we just talked about that. The corona panic, 
is has given these planet eaters an absolute green light to declare war on what's left of the tropical rainforest the uh, the corona panic bullshit these economic the virus the economic lockdowns from the corona panic are, are going to send a tropical deforestation in to the stratosphere. Is anybody out there still believing that the corona panic is a good thing for our fellow earthlings? All right. Wow. Communities on Brazil's River of Unity tested by dams and climate change. Yes, this is uh, the San Francisco River, one of Brazil's most important waterways. Uh, communities there have been struggling for decades due to the impacts of upriver hydroelectric dams, which reduce the river's flow and alter aquatic migrations. Uh, the river's fishery is in steep decline, and now climate change threatens to make those struggles even greater, further changing fish populations, reducing river flow even more, and dangerously elevating the salinity of the stream as seawater intrudes. Uh, rice can no longer be grown and the Delta's saltier marshes. Do you think so? Okay, Sandy was just talking about uh, the environmental effects of growing weed, of growing marijuana. She was talking mostly right here in the good old USA, but we're going to go over to Madagascar. Marijuana cultivation whittling away Madagascar's largest connected forest. Northern Madagascar contains the single largest block of connected forest left in the country. The Saratanana Reserve is supposed to protect a large portion of this forest. However, the protected reserve is being cleared at a rapid rate. Local officials say slash and burn agriculture for marijuana cultivation is to blame. Scientists say that if this deforestation continues, it will fragment the reserve's well-connected forest and threaten the animals that live there, many of which are found nowhere else in the world. So all you stoners out there, <clears throat> light one up for the lemurs. Go smoke a dead lemur. Uh, anyway, guys, as I say, uh, I, I, I've just got, I got to, uh, I, I, did, I, I got to get out of here. Uh, wow, wildlife conservation needs a post-corona panic recovery plan. <clears throat> Despite news stories about nature benefiting from the corona panic. Yes, uh, one funder of conservation projects worldwide is skeptical that there really are improvements in the status of wildlife. This is uh, the Mohammed bin Zayed Species Conservation Fund recently surveyed its grantees and said 67% of them said the corona panic negatively affected their conservation organization and 40% said it negatively affected their job or career. Yes, uh, conservationists are nature's first responders, security detail, and scientists searching for a cure to the extinction crisis, but most are not in the field now due to the corona panic, due to the economic lockdown.
downs. Yes. Do you think so? Uh, gee. Well, I, I guess the guy should be glad he wasn't killed. Indonesian court jails farmer in conflict with paper giant Asia Pulp and Paper. A member of an indigenous community mired in a long-standing land conflict with a subsidiary of paper giant Asian Pulp and Paper has been sentenced to a year in prison. Yes, I bet. Good thing he ain't dead. Uh, what's going on in Borneo? Bornean farmers and fishermen brace as a new port opens in their midst. Yes, Suma Rusalan is one of many Indonesian farmers in western Borneo bracing for a major impact to his livelihood from a new port project and special economic zone slated to open later this year. Can you say the Chinese Belt and Road Initiative? Uh, the port is being touted by the government as the biggest in the province. Yes, uh, locals in the area who depend on farming and fishing, they say they worry about the impacts from increasing ship traffic and land use change to benefit industry. Do you think so? Here's the latest story about this brand new species of monkey being uh, first uh, officially described by scientists. New to science, Tanzania's Manyara monkey is already threatened with extinction by human activity. Yes. <clears throat> Researchers have identified a new to science subspecies of monkey in Tanzania. Uh, blah, blah, blah. And it uh, already, the monkey, the Manyara monkey, faces the same human driven threats as other primates face in Tanzania and everywhere else on the planet, including the degradation, loss, and fragmentation of their habitat, poaching, loss of wildlife corridors, fires, invasion of exotic plants, and climate change. All right, what is going on with bees in Brazil? Brazil's native bees are vital for agriculture, but are being killed by it. Native Brazilian bees provide several environmental services, the most important being pollination of plants, including agricultural crops. Yes, uh, but food production based on monoculture and heavy on pesticide use is now threatening the native bee populations. Do you think so? Oh, uh, God. Uh, all right. Uh, another story about deforestation and the corona panic. I think we get it from the corona panic taking down the Amazon. Here is climate change taking out your morning cup of coffee. Yep, climate change is making traditional coffee growing areas in the tropics less suitable for the crop, forcing farmers to look for new land at higher elevations and higher latitudes. Yep, yep, yep. Kiss goodbye your morning uh, coffee. Wow, here we have an article about bush meat poaching ramping up in Sri Lanka during the corona panic. The killing of a 25 year old ranger by poachers during Sri Lanka's corona panic economic lockdown period has prompted calls for greater efforts to tackle the illegal bushmeat trade. <clears throat> uh,
demand for bush meat since the pan, you know, since the corona panic, demand for bush meat has been driven by local communities and has persisted as authorities, uh, you know, dealing with a limited number of rangers. No shit, Sherlock. Uh, okay, here is climate change taking out the baobab trees. A years-long drought across southern Africa exacerbated by climate change and overuse of water by industry has driven the elephants into South Africa's Mangumbwe National Park. Here, the elephants tear into the park's centuries-old baobab trees to get at the moist interior. Yes. Uh, the elephants themselves, for their part, no longer have any room to maneuver. They are trapped between climate change, habitat destruction, and poaching. Here is what's going on with ball pythons. Prized as pets, ball pythons are being traded out of wild existence. Uh, gee, guys, I just have to run through this. You will never believe this. Poaching in Indonesia's biodiverse Lesur ecosystem is on the rise amid the corona panic. Poaching is on the rise in the Lesur ecosystem in northern Sumatra, the last place on earth that is still home to rhinos, tigers, orangutans, and elephants. Conservationists say the illegal hunting appears to be by locals targeting wildlife for food to eat and not for the trade in animal parts or part or animal parts or pets that typically target the more exotic species. Conservationists attribute the increase in poaching inside one of the most biodiverse ecosystems on this planet to economic hardship faced by local communities amid shutdowns imposed in response to the corona panic. The corona panic has halted ranger patrols in Lesur with ranger teams now unable to mobilize to fight the bushmeat poachers. Oh god, anyway guys, uh, that, I, I gotta go. I think we get it uh, about the corona panic being an absolute disaster. But anyway, uh, if you enjoyed the final uh, ecological meltdown roundup rant, uh, please spend a minute to thumb up this video and we would love to have you subscribe over here. But I've got to wrap this up because I have to go sign the deed to my house in Texas over to a fracker to the fracker I sold my house to, pack my gas-sucking truck, and say, hasta luego, Texas, tomorrow morning, New York, here I come. Come visit me in Ithaca, New York. If you want to come meet up with me in Ithaca, just send me an email to collapsechronicles at gmail.com, and uh, I will tell you how we can meet up get out there and enjoy whatever you can still enjoy while you can still enjoy it. Bye guys.